at some point, you gotta realize and ask yourself, what kind of dog am I looking for? You know? And when I'm doing these breedings, what I'm doing is creating the dog I'm looking for. I'm creating the dog I'm looking for. Also, I'm creating a dog that will produce exactly what I'm looking for. See, it's one thing creating a dog, having a temperament of a dog, loving the behavior of a dog. But can you make that? How many years have you put together consistently creating exactly what you're looking for? That's the difference, people. That's the difference, people. If I took his leash off right now, nothing about what he does will change. Just to show you. There's a dog right there. They could get out that fence if you wanted to. And that would be a terrible idea for it. At some point you gotta realize what I am trying to do may not be what you're trying to do. And that's perfectly fine. Understand what I'm doing. Understand what I'm saying. It's for me. I'm creating something that I would be super proud of, that I can stand on, that I can stand behind. I don't know what somebody else is doing, particularly in their camp, or what they have going for themselves, or what they're trying to create. Also, I know that that shouldn't be my business, and it isn't my business. At no point in the world can I, or should I, worry about what somebody else is doing. There's not enough time in the day about what someone else is doing. There's nothing I can do. There's not enough time in life that I can worry about what somebody else is building. What I am trying to do is create something for me. I want the characteristics of the terrier, the ability of the terrier, with the look of the master. Okay? I am creating something special for me. something special for me. Everything I do is very important. It's very, very, very important. Not many people can have their dog in a place off leash comfortably knowing that nothing will happen. And here's the thing, guys. Before you get in the comment section and saying the crazy things, listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Just because he does that does not mean he will produce the dog just like him. That does not mean he will produce those characteristics. So what I have to do with selective breeding, inbreeding, ground breeding, to create this temperament will take a long time, guys. Will take a long time, guys. What Junior have, the affection that he has, how much he loves me, that's not, that's not necessarily saying he will produce dogs that are just like him. Some of them might have it. A couple. One. Junior been different since the gate. You guys go back and watch the videos. When I, when I let him out, Junior was the one who came and grabbed my sock and held on to it. He was hanging from my sock. That showed me, yeah. Yeah. I can depend on him. I can depend on him. I can depend on him. He does not have a leash on. It's right here. Where is he? He's right here. I'm gonna create better juniors, guys. I'm 
want to create better junior guys. Bigger juniors. Him and Hazel, Hazel will give him more height. Give him more girth. Give him more athleticism, which he has. She will add to it. The temperament of Hazel is amazing. It's amazing. It's not like him though, he's different, he's special. She's pretty dope. The best temperament from that litter, I will be keeping. The best temperament, not the look, not the size. The best temperament from that litter, I will be keeping. Let's go, Junior. Guys, if I'm uh, if I could leave you guys with one thing, I'm gonna leave you with this. Have a purpose. Have a purpose. Move with intention. Look at that. Move with intention. Do I want a dog with a little bit more prey drive? Yes. What does what does Hazel have? She has more prey drive. Everything I'm doing over here has a purpose, guys. Everything I'm doing has a purpose. Everything I'm doing has a purpose. You can get on here, you can have your ideas, you can have your mind made up on what you think I should be doing, on what you should be doing. Listen, guys. This is why I know, this is what I've, I've learned over time. And this, and coming into the YouTube world, this is just a documentary of my life. I've been called a backyard breeder. It's impossible. I never bought an adult female. Um, I've been called a person that, that doesn't want a better to breed. How? All my dogs are better than the dogs that I bought. I've been called so many different names. Guys. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't equate to anything. I'll tell you guys, what I got going on here is very special. Why is it special? Why is it special? It's special because it's what I want. You get it? It's special because it's what I want. It's not because of what you want, not because of what they want. Listen guys, honestly, you have to ask yourself this. What are you looking for out of a dog? I'm a very active man. I'm a very, very, very active man. My dog has to be active. My dog has to be able to stick by my side. My dog has to be able to stick by my side, go on these runs with me, take these laps with me, go on these hikes with me. Guys, if you didn't know, I'm, I, I love hikes. I love being outdoors. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. I'm creating a dog that can do that with me. I'm creating a dog that will love to do that with me. I'm not creating a dog for somebody that just want to sit at the crib and not do anything. Will I have dogs for that? Yes, I will. Am I trying to breed that? Am I trying to breed dogs specific for that? No, I'm not. What I'm doing is, I will have dogs for that person right now. But eventually, guys, I'm telling you this, and I'm gonna be very clear. I'm gonna be very clear. Once I get to the dog I'm trying to create, every dog I sell, put in homes, will, will go there fix. Every dog I put in a home, We'll go with their fixed. I will sell the breeders that they want a dog. I don't care. But the dog will come fixed. When I get to a point where I'm trying to get to, you can't get a dog for me to breed. Right now, I'm letting you guys have this because I haven't created the dog I want yet. 
I'm just sharing this with y'all. I'm sharing my process with y'all, and I'm sharing these beautiful dogs. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on dogs. I have the best blood in the game. I have the best, the top five people in the game you can think of. You can come to your mind. I have that blood in my account. I have the very best dogs, 10 plus years, blood in my account. Double XL Design Pit Bulls, Mega Bill Bullies Tonka. Um, all right, the best, bro. Bossy, Hulk. I have all the best blood in my account, and Junior has a lot of it. Hazel has a lot of it. Them together will create a lot of it. Um, but it's, I'm trying to create something better for me, man. Like I tell you guys, um, I love y'all. I love that you guys watch. I love that you guys pay attention. I love that you guys show love and appreciation. But trust me, man, I know what I'm doing. Why I know what I'm doing? Because I'm doing something for me. Where's Junior, y'all? He's right here. What do y'all think he's going to be? What do you think he will be? Honestly. Where else would he be? Where else would he be? Move with purpose, move with intention. Love your dogs. Take care of your dogs, man. It's very important. Gonna make Junior a lot healthier, y'all. Promise you that.